Okay, we'll be getting started in just a little while, everybody. We'll be getting started between the four-minute mark and five-minute mark on the stream timer down below. So get yourself strapped in. We'll be getting started in just a little while. Welcome on in, Shadow. Hope you're feeling better today, man. Well, at least you don't have the fever anymore. That's what matters the most. Because fevers are terrible, dude. Hello, Mr. Crow. How are you doing this um this morning? Hope you're doing good, sir. Good to have you here. Also, I found out something. Um when it comes to the fool's idol and uh demon souls. Um, you can actually go and kill the, uh, necromancer before even going into the, um, fog wall to fire the first time. You can kill him and then go in there and, um, it'll be good. Ah, good. Dang, 107 though? Jeez, man. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. What I find funny is that uh, we were talking about how, hey, you know, if we took out the Necromancer before even going in there to fight her in the first place, how would that go? And basically, yeah, you can kill him first and go into the thing and uh, kill all the um, regular dudes that are inside the boss room. And when it comes to fighting her in that boss fight, um, a way to know which one is w uh, which one's the real one 
is the um, lady that doesn't have a health bar over her head. That's basically how you know which one's the real one. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started though. So hello internet, you're friendly neighborhood game machine here and welcome back to Random Monday. And today on Random Monday, we're going to be continuing more Pokemon Yellow Twin Eevee's Randomizer. In the last episode, um, the game tried to fuck with me. Um, we found out that Zapdos ended up getting replaced by a Mew. And we found out at first that if we were to try and capture it, uh, before, um, it was the transform, it would turn into a ditto when we would capture it after it transforms. So, what we did was we went to go get the Master Ball from Silphco, and, uh, we ended up capturing a Mew. We basically caught it before it transformed, and we now have a Mew. Um, so now we're gonna continue more of the game. So, let's, let's do it. Let, let's let's get this on. Turn it down just a little bit. There we go. I still find it funny that almost every trainer I've ran into has a Pikachu, but I have not once found one in the wild. That's weird. Music to our ears. Indeed, man, indeed. Alright, so let, let, let's look at our new little friend here. Yes. 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 That's so good. That's so good. Alright, so let's see. Our lowest right now is Stunner. No, Roscoe. Okay. Alright, let's start. Um, putting some of these into a little group here. Now, let's see. Yeah, I think I'll keep those two up top. Um, we'll keep Charmander at the bottom. Um... I'd say Dio can go there. Okay. Because we need to work on trying to get Mystico into a um, Dragonite. Alright, so I stopped him here because I wanted to go back and look through what the items were here at Sofco. Because we sped ran through Sofco, and I want to see if there was any other items that would have been useful to me. Um... And I know I got most of them, but I know that there was some rooms where um, I wasn't able to get the items. It was like I said, I was a man on a mission. I wanted that Master Ball, and that's exactly what I did. Okay, she's in another room, I think, right? Oh, wait, I have the key. Oh, did I put the card key away? I think I did. I'm gonna need the car key. Alright. Luckily though, we're not that far from the Pokemon Center. Because I do need to see what items are in Sofco. Hmm. Let's draw. Card key. Yep. Let's go up here and see what we find. Because what I find funny is I haven't found 
that many of the uh, the uh, rare candies. And I wonder if maybe that there might be a reason as to why that is. Okay, so this chick usually gives me, I think, explosion. Eek! No! Stop! Help! Oh, you're not with Team Rocket. <laughs> All right. She gave me TM thirty-six. Is it still the same? Self-destruct. Not. That's not. Not exposed. No self-destruct. Okay. Well, I'm definitely gonna be selling that. Don't have no use for that. Open sesame. Nice. So what's in here? Nothing but a teleporter. Okay. Welcome in, Rumble. Alright, let's see. Let's go to the next floor and see what we find there. Because when it comes to randomizers, you have to get most of the items in it. You never know what you'll find. Yes, my Pokemon saved you. Yes. Item. All right. Antidote. Okay. Not going to use the teleporter. I'm going to try and get to all the rooms uh, regularly first. Let's see what happens. All right, what's going on down here? Teleporter. From there. Okay. Next floor. It's a big table. All right. Let's see. Is there anything? Okay. Yes. I thought that this was here. I just keep getting soda. What the hell? Calcium. Okay. X accuracy. Sure. I'll take it. There's a dude hiding here. Come on, you slacker. A soda pop. Indeed. Indeed, Reno, my friend. Indeed, Reno. All right, what we got here? Nothing. Swell. Your bag probably weighs a ton with how many cans of soda soda you're carrying. Well, we don't know if it's in a can or if it's in a plastic bottle. We 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 don't know that for sure. Hey, man. Not not to sound a bit gloomy or anything, but just to make a point, when I was homeless on on occasions of my life, man, you could you could do a lot with a giant bag. You know what I'm saying? Like you could put a lot of stuff in that bag. You know, like I'd say the few items that I had a lot of that I always had to restock on in my bag, just for my just for me. Was like these small little microwavable containers of like Chef Boyardee and um, um, either small plastic bottles of soda or sometimes I would get like the small cans because sometimes I had to have a little bit of uh, caffeine in my life. All right, Max Ether. All right, what's well, in here? Absolutely nothing. Yeah. All right. Cause yeah, this is where you would get the uh, the key card. I was right down here. All right, let's continue up. So we still got more items to look for. Yeah. I used to not be able to talk um, about some of my bad times in my life, 
but uh, survival was one thing I had to teach myself. It, it, it was a thing. Here we go. This is why I came back here. Because I knew that there was going to be some items here waiting for me. Thunderstone. Okay. Leafstone. That's hilarious. That those two would be side by side. Yeah. Very interesting. Okay. Open says me. Alright, let's see. Yes. TM39. What's that again? Swift. Oh, that's right. I've been getting two of every freaking TM. I can give I can give Swift back to uh Stunner. Oh, that's so good. That's so fucking good, dude. Okay. Let's see. Body slam or bite? Let's see. Bite flinches. Body slam paralyzes. I have fire spin because I needed a fire attack. Thing about Swift though, Swift never misses. Hold on, let me see what Rumble's saying here. I made some slight more progression in Bloodborne. Got my saw cleaver maxed out. Found the brain. Awesome. Did the emote and got the rune. Good job, dude. Wait, that means you remembered what I told you about the Upper Cathedral Ward key. <laughs> so, um, that means, let's see, if you, if you got the stuff, if you got, um, make contact from Upper Cathedral Ward, that means you need to go fight the bosses in Upper Cathedral Ward. The fake one, which is the Celestials, and then, um, um, Ibriatus. Which I want to see how you deal with Ibriatus. I want to see that. But the, um, the best way to do it is bolt paper, saw cleaver, keep it in its regular form, but try to see if you can get yourself stuck between her tentacle legs. Because if you do it right, she'll carry you around when she tries to turn around. And um, if you want to, you can use a little bit of beast blood as well, and it'll make the it'll make it go faster. The thing is about beast blood is remember, if you take any hits, the higher your um, beast meter goes up, you will take additional damage. So in your particular case, you're. You know, if you're going to do the Beast Blood, do Beast Blood, then um, the um, Bolt Paper. Get between her legs and just keep fucking swinging. Just keep swinging in there. Um, hopefully you can, like, stay between her legs to do that. It's a nice little cheese that you can do. Um, also, a little thing, though, is, uh, when it comes to using your stuff like bowl paper and beast blood pellet for Ibriatus, um, use it when you're about to hit her. Her boss fight will only activate if you hit her, not when you go into her boss room. So, uh, with that information, good luck. Um, alright, so let me see. I want to get rid of at least one of these. <laughs> Shadow. <laughs> I think I'm going to get rid of Bite. Alright. Because I want Swift. Swift's a great move in Gen 1. Actually, Swift's good in Gen 1 and Gen 2. I'm so glad I got one of my favorite moves back, man. That Oh my god, I felt so bad when I lost Swift. Because of my uh, jitteriness with the controller. 
All right. Oh, we're gonna save another woman. Safe at last. Oh, thank you. Wow, you chased off Team Rocket all by yourself? Yes. I am... I am... I am a Mega Chad. Cancelled the Master Brawl project because of Team Rocket. You know what I find weird? Is there's a Master Ball in every single Pokemon game, yet Silphco cancelled the Master Ball project because of Team Rocket. How did some people get their hands on a Master Ball? Whoa! Let's go! I'm sorry I got loud there. Dude! Let's go! <laughs> so you can get... That's right. Oh my god. So I, I have to keep this randomizer now. Because not only does it have Mew as a legendary in this, you can get two Master Balls in this game. Because for some reason, the randomizer has it set to where you get two of everything. Oh, dude, that's, that's really good. That's really good, dude. Holy crap. I'm, I'm sorry I got loud there. Can someone clip that, please? Uh, from when I was talking to the guy, and he was talking about how he how uh, they canceled the project, um, the Master Ball project, to me and my re reaction to the Master Ball, dude. That's please that that's totally worth the clip. That's totally worth the clip. Oh my gosh, that makes me wonder what the hell I'm gonna do with that Master Ball. I have some ideas. I was like, we may have to go see what's in the Seafoam Islands. I usually don't do the Seafoam Islands because they're extremely optional. But I kind of want to see what's going to be in the, uh, in the slot for Articuno. I mean, I know that Moltres is in Victory Road. But dude, that is that was cool. Yeah, I'm gonna have to keep this randomizer on file. This is a good one. This is a very good one. Anything that gives Mew as a legendary and you get two master balls in it? Dude, that's totally worth keeping. Like totally keep it on file. Oh man. Oh, man, dude. I really hope someone heard me when I said all that. It's the nurse. Thank you so much. Alright. Are there any more items in here? Let's, let's check over here just in case. Nope. Alright. I know we're getting close to the final floor that we can use the stairs on. That's still crazy that I got two Master Balls. Oh my god, man. I'm, I'm still trying to process that. See, while this game has been very evil toward me, if I would have played things differently, Well, let's just say I probably would have had some additional stuff. Mr. President! Mr. President! Wait, no, I have the fucking... Thank you so much, Shadow. Every man is a master of his balls. That's a really good name for that clip, man. That's really good. Mm. 
someone post that clip in the OTGM clips, man. That that's totally worth being put in the OTGM clips. All right, let's see. Uh, let's get rid of some of these items. I'm gonna keep the master ball on me though. Let's see. Next defend, I'm gonna put that in there. Card key. We're gonna sell TM thirty-six. I ain't gonna keep the soda pop on me. Might actually use the calcium. I definitely want to keep the max either with me. Because that will be useful. Alright, so. I do need to think about where we're going to go next. Now let me check my badges. Okay, we still need to do Sabrina and Blaine. I don't think I'm ready for Sabrina yet. So we're going to go straight for Blaine. Um, I do want to be careful of possible soft lock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy an escape rope. Just in case it soft locks. Pigeon! Hello, birdie. It's a birdie! Alright, escape rope. We're gonna need that. Might take a couple max repels with me. Let's take six. Because Pokemon Mansion is a, is very vast. Alright. Sell the TM36. So I'm not interested in exploding. Um, okay. Let's use the calcium real quick. Mm, let's give it to... Let's give it to Pinky. Why not? Put that special up because Psychic is more powerful when its special is big. Alright, let's see. Let's fly, Shmurda. We're going to Santa Burr Erdogan. Santa Burr! Santa Burr! Alright. Let's use the max repels. Okay. It's in here. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, I'll fight stuff that's in the 40s. I'll do it. Because that'll be some good experience for Mystico. Oh, that might hurt. That's not that bad. Let's go. That's some good experience for Mystico, though. All right, so before I unlock that... See what this is. Okay. I can accept that full heal. Because with the max repel, it will get rid of all the weak Pokemon that I would have run into. Alright, pull the switch scrunk. Alright, so. We're going to fight him. I believe we have to drop in the third slot here. That'll take us to the other part. 
That's the weirdest looking swimmer I've ever seen. Blithered. Blithered. Okay. I'm trying to think. Does Ivysaur have ghost type? Yes. Of course. I see. Let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah, that's right. It's park ground. But it's got good defense. Psychic attack. Ha <laughs> ha! Eat shit, bitch. Tingulu. Now, what is your typing, Tangle? Okay. Let's speak to that. No worry, I'll cure him of his poison after the fight. Okay. It's not ghost type. Good. Don't need any more ghosts in my life. Kabuto. Keep Mystico in. We gotta push him past his limit. Forty-three. Fuck you. All right. Let's heal our buddy here. Yep. Gen one would have been a nightmare if there were more ghost type Pokemon. Oh yeah. Now that I really think about it from playing this, oh most definitely, dude. That would have been a mess. Alright, drop here. Yep. Because you have to drop there so you can get to uh, this area. Alright, one thing at a time. Let's go over here. Hmm. Interesting. It's almost as if there was supposed to be an item there. Alright, let's see what we got here. Alright. Actually, I think I may have dropped in the wrong one. I think it was the second one, not the third. It's fine. Yeah. Ah, oh, the switches keep locking. Yeah, it's the second slot, not the third. Keep getting that wrong. Okay. Actually, no, that's the first time I've ever gotten that wrong. Unlock. Second slot. There we go. That's how you know. Get yeah, his an item down there. Now usually there's ditto in here. So I'm kind of wondering what's going to be here. Fires type Snorlax. We'll use Blizzard on him. Figured. Alright, let me see something here. 
Let's bring in Deol. Because he has a water type attack. But yeah, after doing this randomizer, it makes me respect ghost types a lot more. Because keep in mind, you'll have to think real hard when uh, when dealing with like Brock, for example. I was stuck on Brock for the longest time because his Rhyhorn was a ghost type. Alright. Yep, no. Bring back in Mystico because we need to get him evolved. I am kind of wondering what the freaking um, Elite Four is going to give, though. That kind of has me scared. Of course. Come on. Boy. Yeah. Come on. Thank you. Every trainer will be ghost, of course. Oh, God. You're not wrong. You're, you're not wrong. It's literally the theme of this whole damn randomizer. But I love the fact that... There's another reason why I want to keep this randomizer, though, just in my files, is, dude, I've been finding two of every fucking item. Well, kind of. I, I haven't found two of every item, but I found some interesting stuff. That's not going to harm me very much. Thunderwave. Let's see if I can just wrap him to death. one we gotta recover him so I'm gonna give him the soda pop perfect all right so what is this side got a nugget okay let me check over here real quick Use the stairs. Okay, that will unlock with the switch in here. Before I fight that burglar, though, I want to look around here real quick. Awakening. Okay. Using these max repels have been a blessing, though. TM-22. Really? So, they put solar beam in a different spot. But this is where you would get Solar Beam. Just not in this spot. That's interesting. Hmm. 
Bite me? Okay. That's the most interesting location for an item, though. It's like just a couple spots away from where it would originally be. Hmm. Got him. Butterfree! It's a butterfree! And he's gone. He is gone. Bye bye, butterfree! Bye bye, butterfree! Alright. So we need to leave out of here. This should be unlocked, I believe. Si, senor. Alright, what are we going to run into here? Charmillion. Alright. I'm going to battle him because that's some good XP right there. If he'll actually attack. Alright. Mr. Scientist Dude. Farfetched. It's a farfetched. Leathered. Yep, it's your boy, the Leak Man. <laughs> I know, right? 44. Venomoth. Okay. <clears throat> of course you poison powder me. Oi. Venom off. Set it ablaze. I slammed it. Does that count? Go heal. All right. Let's see what we find in here. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. There's an item here. Yeah. Paralyze heal. Hello, sweetie. Hi. Meow. How you doing? Petting the cat. Hi. What you doing? What? What did you? What did you, my dear? Meow. Meow. Okay. Yeah, you can lay right there. 
It was my number one girl coming to check on me. TM10. Double edge. Okay. It's not a bad one. This is, I believe, where you would find either uh, an escape rope or solar beam. Well, no, no, wait. So it's the secret key. It's it's in their spot, my man. Now that's the secret key to the gym. I think up there was where the solar beam was uh, supposed to be. Oh yeah, you gotta unlock the damn door. Well, actually, no, I don't. I got a, f I got the damn escape rope in case I was to, um, soft lock. And I did. Wow, it put me all the way there. Okay. Alright, so we got that. Let's go back to Cinnabar Island. And we're going to play a game called Pokemon Quiz. You guys ready to play some Pokemon Quiz? I don't want to do that. Okay. I'm going to keep the nugget on me. Because I'm going to sell that thing. Well, the nugget, also known as the BDT. Repels effect the world. Yep, I figured. Here all our Pokemon. Each Pokemon. Might sooner or later work on a Pokemon Red or Blue randomizer. That might be fun. Alright. Let's go and play Pokemon Quiz. Alright. Pokemon quiz. Get it right and the door opens to the next room. Get it wrong and face the trainer, which FYI, we're going to fight the trainers anyways. Blocking the way. If you want to conserve your Pokemon for the gym leader, then get it right. Here we go. Caterpie evolves into Butterfree. This is actually a tricky question. Uh-uh, funnily enough. So, who wants to answer it? Caterpie evolves into Butterfree? This is going to be up the chat to get me to the gym leader. I mean... Caterpie evolves into Metapod that evolves into Butterfree. So technically, yes, but realistically, no. So are we going for yes, or are we going for no? It is technically a trick question. It is. That's why I like this question. For the purpose of the test, I would say no. Alright. So, we got one vote. For, okay, you're going to go with Shadow. So, we vote for no. I was a thief, but I became straight as a trainer. Yeah. It is a it is a trick question though, yeah. It's okay. We're gonna fight the trainers anyways, you know. I don't know what it is, but I think it's I think it's hilarious how cats do this little squat sit thing when they're laying down. 
You guys know what I'm talking about? My number one girl, Jezzers, is just doing that right now. She's just laying beside me. Jez, she's doing that little, that little laying squat set down thingy. It's adorable. A ditto. Get rid of it. Get rid of the ditto. Yeah. It is cute. Especially the fact that she has like um um for some reason just a raised spine. So she has like an extra like little curve up top. I think it's kind of funny. But she hates it when uh, when I put my finger like right on the top. It makes her want to lift her butt. And then she meows. Yep. Like what I just did there. <laughs> She's a good girl though. She's one of the oldest. I've known her since she was a kitten. What you doing, sweetie? Are you having a good time today? I'm literally doing this with one hand while I pet a cat. Meow. Yeah, she a little bumpy lady. Yeah. Thing is, though, she's a she is a chatterbox, man. Like, um, every time when I come to house sit, it's always uh, the day that I start where it's just me and her. And um, I kid you not. Oh no! Oh, thank God. Um, she will literally talk my head off the whole day, and then she'll do it regular then. You are dumb, Chris. You're dumb. <laughs> That's a pretty good sprite for Pinsir, though. Alright. Let's heal him. Alright. A <laughs> rumble. <laughs> Pokemon quiz. Test your skill. There are nine certified Pokemon League badges. Now this should be... Uh, this shouldn't be hard. This shouldn't be hard. All right, what's the news, Rumble? <laughs> Answer is no. Correct. Yay. You did it, chat. Now we're going to go fight these dudes. Because, <laughs> hey, that's experience, dude. You killed the Celestial and you killed uh, Ibriatus. Very good. Oh yeah, Rumble, did you ever end up going to Castle Canehurst? I just thought about that. Did you ever go to Castle Canehurst, dude? P.E. Oh, nope. Okay, um, let's see, I need to think about how to guide Rumble to, uh, um, to Yosefka's clinic's backside. Let me think about that. Okay, um, let me, let me, let me deal with this real quick, hold on. Polywag is ghost type. Oh, yeah, Canehurst is so like Castlevania land. 
Yeah, let me just deal with these guys and then I'll um I'll go into um uh mind picture mode for rumble. Well automatically go to Forbidden Woods and let me know when you're there. Because you're gonna have to go to Forbidden Woods for this. And I told you guys, Rumble, I knew Rumble was going to be a freaking natural when it came to Bloodborne. Sooner or later, he'll be able to do every boss by himself. I also want to try and get him the DLC. He needs to experience the DLC. <laughs> oh, come on. Did I slam it? Good job, Mystico. All right, give me a minute. Dragon Rage. Let me think about that for a minute. Dragon Rage gives a solid 40 damage every time when it's used. Because it's considered Dragon, I can also use it on... Um, Ghost types as well. Slam. Because I like my Thunder Wave rap combo. Okay. So let me pause real quick so I can go into mind mode here. Basically, mind mode is where I uh, close my eyes. Sometimes I like put my hands like on my uh, forehead, and I just think it's my way of like picturing the level in my head. It's one of the reasons how I'm really good at the Souls games is because I'm able to know um, how levels go just by me simply just closing my eyes and picturing it in my head. Okay, so Forbidden Woods. You're going to go forward. You're going to kill the two dudes that are going to be um, one on the bridge, one at the end of the bridge. You're going to be careful of the trap. Um, to your right will be a beast dude that's going to try to hit you. You're going to kill that bastard. You're going to go straight where he was coming from. You're going to drop down, but you're going to avoid all the guys that are on your left. You're going to see a small little patch of grass that looks like either some dim white or dim yellow flowers. You're going to go through those. Uh, it'll, it'll usually be on your left side. Uh, you're going to um, come across a destroyed shack where a beast will be coming out of it. Um, you're going to kill that bastard. You're going to continue up on your left side. And you're basically going to keep going left slash straight until you find a line of uh, dog cages. Um, and after the last dog cage, you're going to be going towards your left side, and there's going to be a ca there's going to be a cave that you're going to enter. You'll know it's the right cave where when you go further into it, you'll see a lot of poisonous water. And you'll see a big, giant, white dude walking around in it. Um, how to know where to go next is basically by using your eyes. When you, um, before even getting into the water, but you can clearly see the actual area. Um, look for um, a lit way to go in the far center. Looks like it's like lit by like a torch or something like that. Like a tiny little torch. Uh, you're basically going to run straight to that. 
you're going to go through, you're going to climb the ladder. Um, because, you know, what a thrill. Sounds in the night. You know, Metal Gear Solid. Um, you're going to climb that. You're going to activate the shortcut that's there because there's going to be a lever close to there. Try not to fall back into the hole because Shadow has done that numerous times. Um, when you do that, you're going to find the actual way to go, which is a gate that's already open. You're going to go down a couple of things of stairs. There's going to be a brain sucker on your left side. He's going to try to grab you. Uh, just go straight for the ladder. You'll be fine. When you climb the ladder, you're going to be on some rooftops. Um, there's going to be a lot. There's going to be a murder of crows on the uh, rooftops. You can kill them if you want to. Because you are in the end game, you can literally search the whole part of Yosefka's clinic. Um, I believe on both the left sides and right sides, you'll find. Um, an item chest, and you'll also find the summons that'll take you to Kanehurst Castle. It's literally going to be exactly where you started the game at. Um, also, you can go the straight path now and not worry about Yosefka, uh, Yosefka's uh, um, imposter. She'll be like on all fours looking like she wants to take a dick in the ass. Uh, you're going to talk to her. Until she does her little, ah, and then you're gonna kill her, and uh, you'll be able to get a uh, a uh, third umbilical cord. Um, when you know that you got the Kanehurst summons, you're gonna bold you're gonna bold hunter mark out of there. It'll, it should take you right back to your original limp that you started. Go to the hunter's dream. Um, then you're, then when you do that, you're going to go to, uh, where you fought the witches of Hemwick. You're going to leave there and go literally straight to that intersection where the big dudes with the giant axes are and a cutscene will hit and, uh, there'll be a carriage getting the carriage as fast as possible and you're there. Okay. And now I can actually reach out. <laughs> the brain sucker has killed you many times. Yes, I I hate the brain sucker. All right, but there you go, guys. Hopefully that was useful to you, Rumble. All right, now we're going to fight this bastard. I bet you that, like, completely shocked you there, Chris, that I knew that whole freaking level. All right, Rumble, go put your plan into action and let me know how it goes. Let me know when you get to Kanehurst. Plus, because of his level, Rumble should have no issues getting um, getting to where he needs to go. Unless Rumble has a meat brain moment. He's had a couple of those, but he's he's been able to get through. All right. That Dragon Rage is so fucking useful, dude. Because you know you'll get a solid 40 damage. Pikachu! It's a Pikachu! Oh. That took a lot of brain power, too. Well, everything I was telling Rumble. And it's stuff like that that gives me mental fatigue a lot. I'm so crap at trying to guide people to stuff, man. It's a real issue. I See, I can respond to that in different ways. For one, I know that you get off on the whole sarcastic depression type of thing. Um, but at the same time, for me... I can't really explain how I remember certain things. 
The only thing I really call it is just mental reflex because I've done it so much. That's why probably in time I'll be able to guide people through demon cells. Go, Dragon Rage, go. All right. Next question. Pokemon quiz. Test your skill. Poliwag evolves three times. This should be easy. Now keep in mind, this is not Gen 2. Let's see if anybody gets it. Nope, it evolves twice. You are correct. Good job. Now, if this was Gen 2, it would be correct. It would, uh, it would be correct. Because Poliwag can evolve into Poliwhirl, then Poliwrath, and if you give a King's Rock to... Uh, Poliwhirl, it'll turn into Poly, uh, Polytoe. And we're gonna battle the bastard. You know, I do pray that sooner or later Rods does come back to streams, though. I like when he's here. It's so cool interacting with Rod. But I know he has a lot on his plate right now. I'm also happy that he made his, uh, his donation goal, though. So now I'm not really afraid if he doesn't get the job, how he would get home. I'm glad he's going to be okay. I do hope he gets the job, though. I want him to get the job that he wants. Because he said it's like his dream job. And, you know, to be denied your dream job is fucking bullshit. Alright, there we go. Next question. Pokemon quiz. Test your skill. Are thunder moves effective against ground element type Pokemon? This one should be easy. Nope, he doesn't have to go home. Sounds like a nightmare. Yeah, things in Brazil aren't exactly doing good at the moment in the world. So are, po are electrical moves effective against ground-type Pokemon? I mean, I already know. It's no. Yep, exactly. It is no. Correct! Yay! Yay, smart crow. Now we're going to battle the dude. <laughs> I just find it funny that like a regular person would be like, Oh, yay, we're going to be able to go through. Fuck that trainer. It would be stupid not to fight them. Because you would end up getting some really good um, experience. Plus, this is all down uh, Mystico's Alley, too. There's one question on here that is um, kind of stupid. Um, and I'll let you know when we find it. Because it's funny, but it's stupid at the same time. Hmm. 
Hmm. Mr. Co went to 46. Hell yeah, he's getting close to that evolving right there. Ain't that right, Mrs. Kitty? That's right. All right. Pokemon quiz. Test your skill. Pokemon of the same kind and level are not identical. Pokemon of the same type and level are not identical. Is that yes or no? Correct. Very good. Now we're going to battle the dude. That's the weirdest looking artisan I've ever seen. Coughing's a ghost type. In this. Now I do find it funny. There is one move that I find very interesting in this game. And it's Nightshade. Uh, Nightshade does damage based off of the Pokemon's level. Which I find that interesting, to say the least. We're gonna wrap it to death. Also, I did play some Pokemon Go yesterday, and uh, I caught two shiny Pokemon, and I evolved them. I caught a shiny, um, I think it was Galarian Geodude. He was brown and orange. And then I got a shiny Litwick, and I thought that was pretty cool, and I evolved him completely. job. I think the next one is my favorite one. Pokemon quiz. Test your skill. TM28 contains Tombstoner. <laughs> yep, this is the one. Which, just to let you know, 
It doesn't. Tombstone is not even a move. We're gonna battle the dude. I am kind of afraid about what Blaine's gonna have. I kinda am. Slow poke. Yeah, wrap them. Sorry, I was just thinking real quick. I'm also watching this cat just like roaming around the house. It's rather hilarious, to be honest with you. Alright, so we got that. Look, it's Blaine. Looks like a dork. Alright, let's see. Alright, here we go. All right, here we go. Stacy. Oh All right, let's go. All right, we got another ghost. All right. The Dragon Rage. Got some health on you. Oh, God, I hope he, I hope that doesn't go through. Just trying to think. Thunder wave.
Sorry, I'm just thinking real quick. Yeah. Okay. Nope, stop that. Toros. Keep him in. Because once Mystico evolves, we can work on our other Pokemon. Come on, you can... No! Oh my god. Okay, I can handle rage. He needs to take care of that Tauros now. That is a lot of XP. Starmie. Harden. Got her. Got him. Yay, we did it. Give me that fire blast. TM thirty eight. Fire Blast. Yes. Oh, I know who I'm giving that to, and that's going to be for um, Flareon. Because I do not want Fire Spin. Yes. GG, and the castle has been found. Awesome. Did you also get your umbilical cord, sir? Okay, so... I might keep Fire Spin, but I want to get rid of Tail Whip. He needs his fire attacks. Alright, so we have fixed Stunner. So now Stunner... Has fire moves, both mediocre and strong, so we're good. Okay. All right, let's put some stuff in the box. No, not that box. Uh, deposits. Secret key.
I need to get rid of, I need to go sell that nugget. So, I believe we can go from here. I want to check something real quick. Yeah, they really did fix it if I'm not running into any Pokemon there. Alright. Dragonair! It's a random funny story. I did seem to have had the summons, but I completely forgotten I did. But then I remembered I went to a place that looked like the beginning of the game. So that was something. Okay. Cool. Now let's fight this one. Alright, so this is the entrance to the Seafoam Islands. Because I want to see what replaces Articuno. Dragon Rage. Charmander. Charmander. There's your favorite bird again. Blizzard. And he's gone. Missed to go with the 48. Okay, so the object of this is we have to block the bad current that's going on here. This is going to whisk us away when we surf. Mm. 
There we go. Now nah, it's taking me away. Taking me away. Let's see. Let's go. Okay, yeah. I'll just go move this way. Thank you. Okay, we can't do that yet. Diddle day. Okay, got him. No, wait, I do have a Pokemon that has strength, right? I do not. Mm. That's going to cause an issue. Because I need a Pokemon that has uh, strength. Hey, sweetie. You okay? You go kitty. You go kitty. Great ball. You just go kitty. You just go kitty. Venom moss. You okay, kitty? Who's my number one girl? Do I have it with me? Or did I get rid of it? I got rid of it. Damn. Snorlax, wow. I'm not interested in it. All right. Wait, what am I doing? I can just dig. Dig. Get me out of here. Good job. Alright. I need to teach one of them strength. So I can actually get through this. And it's not going to be me. It's a good girl. Oh. I am going to take one escape rope with me. Um. HM4. Hmm. Spurter, Dio, Pinky. What's Dio have before I do this? Surf, Bite, Dragon Rage, Ice Beam. Mm. 
Bye. But yeah, now that we have a Pokemon that has strength, we'll be able to do the actual Seafoam Islands. Because Seafoam Islands, they're not really hard. Just a little complex. We'll pop a Max uh, Repel when we go into the cave so we can concentrate. I never liked the Seafoam Islands as a kid. Really? Why is that? Give me the deets. Why did you not like the Seafoam Islands? The good thing, though, about the Seafoam Islands, though, is they are completely optional. You don't have to do them if you don't want to. However, at the same time, you know, content. Okay, so I need to find rocks to push into holes here. That's going to be down here. Item? Yep. Super potion. Yay. Alright, so... Optional areas tend to be the best ones, to be honest. Yeah. And it gave you a... Star Star vibe? What do you mean? Alright, first off... I was a bit weird. Now just some additional flair for the for the text. This is one of those areas that gave me an uneasy feeling for some reason. Would you care to elaborate on that feeling? The reason I'm taking a little longer is I'm I'm trying to process this in my brain. That's really the main reason why I'm going a little bit slower than I usually do. Because I need to really think about this.
I think this leads to the other side, yes. Yeah, this leads to the other side. We're gonna do this battle anyways. Uh, I don't know what it was, to be honest. Maybe it's the stress of the legendary in there, was it? Hmm, touche. Just always remember to save before you fight a boss. Before I was smart enough to realize you can just... You can just save state in front of the damn bird. Yeah. Indeed. Good girl. Okay, got the moth. think here I'm just picturing the whole level in my head that's why I'm taking a little longer than usual I'm sorry okay here we go Go into the floorboard. I think, yes, here we go. Alright, I'm remembering some stuff now. I think I need... One more push. The old Onyx... Sat Nav in full effect. Yep, I'm trying to remember certain things. There we go. Now <sighs> drop down. Ah, I missed one. Okay. I just need one more rock, I believe. And then I'll be able to go. Yeah, that's going to keep doing that. So that means I need to go into... The... Let's 
see. See, I don't want to mess this up. Because if I do, it'll put me in a bad disadvantage. That is right. There we go. There we go. We did it. Alright. I knew I had to drop a certain way. Because there is a way to do it without doing all of the boulders. You just got to drop a certain way and you're able to do it. Alright, so let's see what this is. Got you. It's an actual Articuno. Okay. Interesting. So that's kind of weird that Mew replaced Zapdos. Articuno is exactly the same. But then that makes me wonder what Mole Trace is and what Mewtwo would be. So I'll leave it up to people in chat. Do you want me to fight it? Or do you want me to reset my save and leave it alone? Not sure. Because I'm not going to catch it. I don't need an Articuno. But I only have one Master Ball. I mean, I could try with an Ultra Ball, but I don't think it'll work. We can try it. I'll try with an Ultra Ball, and if it doesn't work, we'll just have to get rid of it. fine. We can always revive Mystico. It's not a big deal. It's fine. want one wrap. Mm. Wow, it really will not let me catch it. What an ultra ball, really.
Let me get a little lower and see what happens. Jeez, really? I'll try one more time. Okay, now it's doing it. <gasps> yeah! We got that fucker. Nice. Clip that, please. Thank you. Woo is right. All right, somebody give me a nickname for Articuno. We'll even check it when we uh, go back because of its typing. Did you hear that, Jesse? We got an iceberg. Meow. Thank you, Shadow. Ultra Bird Ball. Squaw! Aurora. That's a good name. Alright, I'll go with it. Aurora, as in Aurora Borealis. Alright. And we'll check its typing when we get to the Pokemon Center. Birdie! Roscoe Dig. Dig, Mr. Rat. Alright, let's check out Articuno and see what it is. I used up all my banter with Fart Blast. That's me done for the year. <laughs> fart Blast. Fucking Fart Blast, man. Alright, let's put Shermunder in there for right now. Oh yeah, that would be weird. Alright, let's see. Poison and Fighting. So that means it has a double weakness to, um, to Psychic. See, it's good, but it's not at the same time. Because it has, it's going to end up having ice moves, but it's poison and fighting. Which means it's weak to psychic. So I do find that interesting. Hey, let me look at these guys. I do like the fact that Nido King is poison and dragon, though. That that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. John Cena. Oh, all right, let's see. Shermunder. I got lucky with that though. Fucking caught it with an Ultra Ball. I was not gonna waste that fucking Master Ball. No. Nowhere near it. Okay, so we took care of Blaine. Hmm. Yeah, sure, Munder. I don't know why, but every time when you say all the bloody best, it's almost as if you're like saying uh, goodbye to somebody, even though that's really what you're saying, but. It's it's just interesting. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I had a brain fart there for a minute though. Alright, so let's put some stuff in here. Deposit. Cause we definitely need to get rid of the HM4. We can keep the super potion and use that later. He's going into the box. I'm saying goodbye for now. Yeah, true. I need to sell that fucking nugget. That's what I need to do. Sell that nugget.
We will meet again! Alright. So first off, sell. We're gonna sell the BDT right here, which is the nugget. Uh, is there anything else that needs to be sold? I can get rid of the Paralyzed Heal. I don't really need that. And I can sell the Great Ball, because I don't really need the Great Ball. I am going to buy some more supplies, though. Oh, shit. No, not that many. Uh, let's get 25. Because they're hyper potions. We're going to need those. Um, we're good on full heals. Let's get a couple Ultra Balls. 12. Because we'll make more money later. And the rest of these will be some full heals. Well, I lost my phone signal. Skipped a few frames. Contracted fucking Nugget into Fuck Nugget. Oh, hey, Karamba. You know, I've actually called people Fuck Nugget, though. I have actually called people that before. Funnily enough. Alright, so. Fly, Skirmunder. Um, to be honest, we just gotta do Saffron. So let's go for it. And then we're going to go to Viridian City last. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Repel war off. Dun, dun, dun. That's actually pretty easy to get to uh, Sabrina. There's actually a little strategy that I've done ever since I was a kid. So, the object of getting to Sabrina, my, my, my childhood method, is always go to the um, opposite corresponding uh, teleporter. I know that there's a quicker way to do it. I never memorized how to do it, and I'm never going to. So, as we are on this teleporter, we're going to go to this one, and then what comes that one, we'll go across and across. And we're going to battle whomever we run into. I am kind of wondering what, um, what Sabrina's going to have. Okay, so Sabrina from the anime, that cold disdain and aloof attitude that when she utterly and completely dominated Ash did awaken anything for anyone because at 10 minutes I was like, yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah. At 10, yeah. I, I, I like I like Sabrina's um, thing, yeah. I was about to say, yeah, do your fucking attack, man. There you go. But at the same time, though, Sabrina... She had some mental problems, though. Like, looking at Sabrina now... Man... Anime Sabrina made Wednesday Adams look like a normal person. Now, in the manga, though, Sabrina is a fucking powerhouse, though. Hut, step on me, please, psychic mother. She'll be like, no, I will turn you into dolls. Magmore! I did think it was cool when they finally evolved Magmar. Evolved them into Magmortar. That was pretty cool. Okay, turn me into a doll and then step on me. At least you're not saying turn me into a doll and shove me up your ass. 
You know, that I, I would be kind of concerned. It's like, no, don't put the doll head up my ass, no. You'll settle for that. Ew. 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 <laughs> Ew. Alright, let's go across here. Corresponding stuff. I uh, got something my ow 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 ow. Wait when that happens. Okay. Um let me check his health. He's good. He can take a little bit of a beating. Reverse turn me. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you'll be like, Oh, I can't breathe. Cyclist, okay. Right. Chancey! My cat hates when I do that sound. Kind of freaks her out a little bit. Oh yeah, he's burned. I need to. I need to cure his burn. Wow. I mean, Chancey got a lot of health right now. Oh my god. Blizzard. Frozen Chansey. All right. Well, while it's frozen, Chansey is dummy thick. To be fair, Blissy's thicker though, man. Dude, that's exactly what uh, Dan is, though. Dan is totally a blissy. A chancy pop, yeah. Like, you can say that Dan's a jinx all you want, but nah, blissy. Totally a blissy. Yeah, you'll run into a... You'll, you'll run into a damn uh, blissy, and it instead of it saying blissy, I'll be like, Girl... <laughs> dude, you should totally have Lauren make like a fan art of that, dude. You got, you got to see if she'll do it. A fucking blissy, but do it in the model of Dan, and have it just say "girl." <laughs> like, come on, man! You you can't say that won't be a funny fucking fan art, dude. A fucking blissy modeled after Dan. And have it say girl. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, man. Mm. Yeah, that does sound good. Yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah. An Unix. Alright. Damn rock snake. I know that that still kind of got me, man. When um, when Dan died in fucking Elden Ring, and um, she played Ava Maria. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. That 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 was that that was some funny that was some funny shit. Yeah. That really was. That was some funny. That was just some funny shit. Please don't use guillotine. Seismic toss. That's a great move. Uh, talk about a random good game. Okay, let me think for a minute here. Um. I'd say Pokemon Green for Game Boy. Pokemon Green for Game Boy was uh was pretty good. See, when it came to the Japanese releases of the original Pokemon games, while we got red and blue and our special was yellow, 
They had green and red, and their special was blue. Funny enough, though, is that our versions of red and blue are literally the exact um, same game, but um, different corresponding Pokemon. So basically, when we got red and blue, it was basically two versions of Pokemon Red, but um, the corresponding Pokemon were switched out. Green and red are, funnily enough, um, different. So, like, for example, okay, so, you know the fucked up sprites that we had in Pokemon Green for Game Boy? Those were a thing in Pokemon Green and Red in the Japanese version. When it came to Pokemon Blue was what sprites we had gotten in the Pokemon Blue um, cartridge and Pokemon Red that we had, had gotten. Pokemon Yellow was specifically made for American artists, audiences because of the anime. And the reason why I like Pokemon Green a lot is a lot of the sprites are actually pretty nice. Um... I like the Charmander sprite for uh, Pokemon Green. He kind of looks like Barney. Um, bad part is, though, is Mew sprite is very, very bad. Uh, Mew looks like an unborn fetus. Um, so take that with a little bit of grain of salt right there. One day I might actually do a playthrough of uh, Pokemon Green. The thing is, is because I don't know Japanese, it'll make things a little bit hard. And I know that someone probably watching this as a premiere on YouTube will be like, Oh, why don't you just find an uh, English version? Because it kind of takes the fun out of it. Because we never got Pokemon Green um, in America. We, we never did. Um... Unless you count the remakes that we got for Game Boy Advance. Um, which is Leaf Green and Fire Red and stuff like that. And also, funny story is that um, our rival... You would think that, you know, when it comes to American logic... Um, our main character is called Pokemon Trainer Red... And our rival is Pokemon Trainer Blue. Funnily enough, there, that was actually an error. Uh, Blue was not supposed to be uh, the rival. His name was actually Green. That's one of the reasons why if you watch the Pokemon Origins uh, miniseries that was sent out, you'll notice that um, he's not called uh, Blue. And he's called Green. So I do find that kind of funny. We're almost there. See? We made it. Yay! Alright. We need to heal him. <coughs> I'm sure you could find your way around in Japanese. Just don't do a randomizer of that one. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to see. I had a vision of your arrival. I have had psychic powers since I was a child. I first learned to bend spoons with my mind. I dislike fighting, but if you wish, I will show you my powers. Here we go. Marilyn. That's an interesting name. Let's go. Butterfree! It's Butterfree! And it's level 50. God damn. Okay. So first she has a Butterfree. It's either rock type Grass or dragon. 
Because it's weak to ice. Alright. Next. Jinx. It's... It's Nicki Minaj! Dragon Age. Mmm. Weather. It's fine. All right, so that means yeah, my anaconda does not want any of that. Thank you, oh my lord. Thrash. That's gonna be a bitch. Power through it. Good job. Okay, I think he's going to evolve. <laughs> okay. Okay. If you think I'm going to bring out mine, no, you got another thing coming. Ah. Uh... Mine's not at level 50, so it wouldn't do good. But P is, though. Mm. I want to try it. Pinky is glowing. Don't, don't flinch. There we go. I love Sky Attack. Can I get one more off? Pinky is glowing! Missed. Damn it! Quit missing. Yeah, fuck it. Wow. Come on, Pinky. Yay, we got him. Got her. Yay. I'm shocked. But a loss is a loss. I admit I didn't work hard enough to win. You earned the Marsh Badge. Doo -doo -doo. The Marsh Badge makes Pokemon up to level 70 obey you. Stronger Pokemon will become wild, ignoring your orders in battle. Just don't raise your Pokemon too much. Wait, please take this TM with you. Psywave. Psywave's actually a pretty cool move. Thing is, though, Psywave ends up becoming a very rare move uh, down the road. Because um, after Gen 1, Psywave just isn't really a thing anymore. Here we go. Random fact about me. Uh, let's see. Um, let me think of a random fact about me. Hmm. Okay. Around the time when Yu-Gi-Oh! started as a actual legit card game where you could do tournaments and everything, 
in my county, I won the championship in the tournaments, and I went undefeated for five years. And uh, after the five years, I vacated the, t uh, the championship, and I quit doing tournaments because um, they kept banning too many cards and everything. So, there you go. There's a random fact about me. Put TM46 in the box. Alright. Actually, I thought that he was going to evolve. Maybe he evolves later. Okay. Thank you. And I still have my original deck, and on random occasions, if a card kind of screams at me a little bit, I'll find a way to add it to my deck. I still have my original deck that I called my Scatterbrain deck, because uh, I'm the only one that can actually use that deck proficiently. Any other person that's tried to use my deck, they fail miserably. Alright, now, Viridian City. Right. The old man still not back. The old man never came back. Um, I did try out Magic, uh, before Yu-Gi-Oh! started. Um, it was okay. I actually liked Yu-Gi-Oh! more. But at one point, you know, if Yu-Gi-Oh! never existed, I probably would have still played Magic. My only issue when it came to Magic the Gathering is I never, I always, um, I always never stuck with one deck, even though I always wanted to stick with only one deck. I just could never find the one deck that, like, screamed my name. But when it came to Yu-Gi-Oh!, that was much more simpler for me to do. Plus, I remember when Yu-Gi-Oh! first came out with their cards. Me and my little brother, we saved up enough money for doing uh, jobs and everything. And we went and got um, the, um, the Yu-Gi deck and the Kaiba deck. I got the Kaiba deck, he got the Yu-Gi deck. And uh, what we did was uh, we traded cards and we made our own decks that way. And funny enough, um, he was in um, tournaments as well with me, but only just for a short time. And uh, when we had a when we had Yu-Gi-Oh stuff going on at my high school, we had a uh, legit certification to do uh, uh, minor Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments at uh, my high school uh, because we made a Yu-Gi-Oh club and everything. Um, me and my little brother were tag team champs for all of uh, our uh, sophomore and junior year. Um, also, um, let's see. I was. Uh, I never did want to. I never wanted to get the uh, main title at uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh club because I still had the tournamental one at that time. And, um, I just didn't want it because I felt that it was going to be really boring if people couldn't defeat me. Not, not, I'm not trying to say that to sound like a prideful bastard, but back in the day, no one could defeat my deck. I, I, I was that good at making it, you know, and, um, so I refused to do singles, uh, dueling in the Yu-Gi-Oh club. I only did tag team dueling with my little brother. Uh, it's just the elite four in one man, dude. There was pe there was new people that would come into the fucking Yu Gi Oh club and they would talk mad shit 
and get all up in my damn face and be like, oh, I could take you down, you son of a bitch. And I'm like, oh, I, I, I'd like to see you try. I would really like to see you try. And there was this one dude we had to kick out of the club because he was disrespecting my little brother. Because my little brother was, um, he was legally blind. And he was like, oh, I, I, well, I don't want to say the exact stuff this guy said because TOS. Um, but he got real mean about it. So not only did I squash him in a duel, in the club to kick him out. I made sure my little brother got on his bus. And I stayed home. I stayed at the school after school. And I beat the living shit out of that, out of that boy. Um, and yeah, I, I got in trouble. I got in trouble. By the principal. But when he knew why I did it. He only gave me like a two-day suspension and um, in-school suspension. Because the thing is, is, you know, oh yeah, most definitely it was worth the trouble. Like I said, me and my little brother, we were like two halves of the same coin. Um, it's like... For example, if he ever got pissed off, I was the one that calmed him down. And if I ever got pissed off, he was usually one, the one that calmed me down. Um, you know, that just reminds me of a story um, one time. My little brother wanted to go to this diner that was in a, um, a whole county uh, next to us. And he was like, I really want to go check out this diner and everything for my birthday. And I'm like, okay, what time do you want to leave? And he's like, well, uh, we'll get ready around like 6 a.m. and so we can take our time when we get there. I'm like, all right, I got you. And um, we got there and they had this really cool jukebox. And my little brother loved old school jukeboxes. He really did. And um, he put in a coin in the jukebox. We got a table uh, right beside it as well. And it was playing uh, one of his favorite songs. Blue Suede Shoes by none other than Elvis Presley. And uh, there was this other table that was close to us. And... Uh, they were just so loud. They, you know, causing a ruckus. Hell, there was even people in the uh, diner telling them to shut the fuck up. And um, yeah, um, it, it was an interesting situation. Um, and it was it was upsetting my little brother. And I was like, okay, you know, you. You eat your you eat your meal and everything. I'll go take care of it. Walk over to the table and I'm like, and I nicely say, you know, hey, listen, you know, no offense, I don't.